frape. It is an odd word, isn't it? It's a word that doesn't exactly roll off the tongue. It sounds less and less like a real word the more I say it. And yet I see it about two or three times a week on someone or other's Facebook profile. For those of you who are unaware of the meaning somehow, it's when one Facebook user gets into another's profile then says something silly. Presumably it's just a mix of the words Facebook and rape. I suppose the word face rape was a bit too un-PC. Well, as you probably expected, I'm not all in favour of, of this use of the word rape, and you're expecting me to be raising my cross and complaining about the heathens making rape jokes and how immoral it is and complaining about the general decline of the moral society in general, but there's much better reason for this. The word frape is referential humour. It's not observational comedy, it's just reference. This is bad comedy. Not even satire, reference. It's just not good. See, the word rape isn't inherently funny. There's nothing actually funny about someone getting raped. Even someone bad like Hitler. If you only talked about Hitler getting raped, it's not funny. It's just shocking. But there's a taboo on the word rape. There's some humor gained from the shock value of someone saying the word rape. It's like if someone randomly said the word fuck. That kind of surprise has some humor. The problem is, people are by and large a pile of wailing imbeciles who can't come up with a good original joke to save their own life. As a result of this, they mirror each other's jokes and references like the bleatiest sheep in the field, and now this kind of moronic shock humour is repeated every day. Now, the first few times, I grant you, maybe it was funny. Someone said rape, and they were shocked by it. That's funny. But repeat this a few thousand times, and let everyone see it, and you're left with a whole group of society who's not shocked by the word rape anymore. Now it's just the word that doesn't convey any kind of traumatic, uh, traumatic experience that rape really is. It's just some kind of minor setback, a joke that happens to other people. Well done, you twats. So do we just stop using the word rape? Well, no. And I don't think that rape is something that necessarily needs to be avoided in humour, like radioactive waste. It can still be funny, but only if you're trying to make a point about it and not just enjoying the free laughs of the person that done say the word rape. To comedian Dylan Moran is telling us once about his childhood and how about the, about the rape that went on within the church. He said, I don't know why it happened to me. I don't know why I've been singled out like this. I wore my hot pants to church and everything, just couldn't get the bastard to touch me. Saying this, Dylan Moran is the butt of the joke, not the actual act of rape, or just the victims in general. And he doesn't say the word rape, that's left to our imagination, because it's just a funny without. So please, if you must joke about rape, do it like that. Don't just repeat the word mindlessly, until no meaning is left to the word. We're not disgusted by this disgusting word for a disgusting act. If we do that, it's our culture and our sense of humour that gets raped. Thank you.